So for today, we're going to be looking at Assassin's Cal. This got asked for not too long ago, and I am pretty excited because the exotic videos are coming back. If you guys don't know, I already covered Celestial Nighthawk, which did get asked for. I'll have it up right now in case you guys missed that one. But again, we go over how it looks, how it shaders, the ornaments that it has, also how they look and how they shader. And then we have example sets as well. We're going to be doing that for this video as well. Uh, and I'm just really excited because Assassin's Cal actually has some pretty cool shit. So let's get into it. So to start off, Vanishing Execution is the perk. Uh, powered melee final blows grant invisibility and restore a portion of health and shield. Finishers and final blows against more powerful targets increase the duration of invisibility and the amount of health and shield restored. So it's pretty funny because I ended up getting a few comments uh, asking why I didn't put Assassin's Cowl in my arc video, which I'll have it up right now. And the main reason was because Assassin's Cowl is more class agnostic and that just basically means you can use this in anything. It doesn't have to be arc. It can be literally everything. So that's why I didn't cover that one. And I'm happy I didn't because uh, Assassin's Cowl ended up getting a new ornament for it. It was actually Season of the Plunder where, where it got released. And that's pretty recent considering that was like a few seasons ago. And again, I really, really like this exotic, specifically the exotic perk. It, I think it's really cool. A lot of people really use it. I know there's like a huge following for this exotic, even though a lot of regular people wouldn't use it. Me specifically, I haven't used it just because I have my builds that I like to use, but I do want to start using Assassin's Cal because I do, I do know that it's really, really good. As for how it looks, I'm going to be real with you guys. I've never really liked Assassin's Cal, uh, the helmet itself. I think the like draped, like energy looks super cool. I've just never liked the helmet underneath i've never really liked it and it's also just the fact that the gold or bronze i guess you would say uh inside the helmet doesn't change color as you guys can see from the shadering it just doesn't change color and it's really unfortunate because i could still see it i mean granted it's not that big a deal especially when you start really getting into the like the really cool fashion of it uh, most of the time it's not gonna matter but when you have shaders like echo oh, anger it's it's really really noticeable and it's just very unfortunate because because this helmet could have been super super cool and again i think it's just the main focus was just the helmet doesn't look that cool it just looks kind of like it just looks like a regular green helmet with like blue stuff coming out which is like my biggest gripe about this helmet as for the example set i ended up going with kind of like a techno assassin look for this one obviously the ornament obviously uh, assassin's call is what we're using for the arms, we're going to be using Hardened Basilisk Vembraces with the Eternal Vengeance Vest. I think these two pair really well together. And then the Interlace Strides, because again, I'm going for like a Techno Assassin look because I could have gone with like just a regular Assassin look, but I was like, everyone's done that. I kind of want to go for something else. And for the cloak, we're using Dendrite Shimmer Cloak just because I feel like that's really, really cool because it does give you give us a, gl a good glow and everything here doesn't have a glow except the helmet and the cloak. So that's why I went with the pieces that I went with. Let me know what you guys think. I really do like this set. As for the shader, we're using Rose Scale, which is interesting considering I don't really use this shader that much just because uh, most of the time it pisses me off. But for this one, it looks really, really cool. And because the glow is actually blue, that's why I'm using it as well. This Rose Scale is such a good shader, but most of the time it just pisses me off because it's not doing the things that I want it to do. But for this one, it looks super dope and I'm really, really happy about this. Let me know what you guys think. As for the ornament, Gilded Memento is such an awesome ornament just because it kind of fixes the issue that I had with the base look of Assassin's Cal. The helmet underneath is basic. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm not going to tell you it looks amazing. It, it's basic. I'm going to be the first one to tell you it just it looks basic. But my thing is, it's not the point. The point is all of the jewelry in your face is so cool and even then the helmet underneath is actually really cool you have this like really creepy just holes that's supposed to be the eyes and then it just doesn't do too much because everything else like it it, it fits everything so well that's why i really really like it and for the shading situation the only thing that's kind of annoying and i know people are gonna give this uh this ornament shit because the unfortunate thing about it is the fact that the main color is actually on the helmet and the off color is actually on the jewelry. So unfortunately, some people are going to not like that. I don't like it either, but at the same time, I can I make it work because there's really cool off colors in the, in the shaders that you can do. 
Uh, for Cryptic Insignia specifically, you guys will see that the, uh, the main color will be that white, and then the off color will actually be that blue, which is technically not correct, but I mean, whatever, I'm not gonna fight it. And <clears throat> yeah, overall, I think this, this ornament looks super, super cool. As for the example set, I ended up going with Regal Darren because I do know that Regal Darren is one of the few shaders that actually uh, take the off color kind of, not really. So yeah, Regal Darren, uh, you'll see the white helmet and then the gold. It's actually not supposed to be that way, but I'm not gonna fight it. I'm kind of happy about that. But for this one, I went with a bougie look. Uh, I, I think I got this set from a previous video. If I have that video in my head, I'll have it up right now. So that way you guys can check it out. But for the arms, the Illuminous Grasp was an easy choice because uh, the Nemean Caress and the Strides of the Great Hunt are just so bougie looking that I wanted a little bit more of that. And I think the Illuminous Grasp Majestic looks amazing with all of this. Uh, my only gripe is maybe I could have used a, a Boots better uh, for the Illuminous Grasp just because it do, does kind of look uh, different enough for me to be like, maybe I should have used something else. But the main reason why I like Strides of the Great Hunt with the Nemean Caress is because it almost looks like the pants or shorts, I should say, uh, are connected with the chest piece, specifically the stomach. So that's why I really like it because it looks like it pairs really well together. And then the Solstice Cloak, uh, magnificent for the cloak just because I wanted something bougie as well. So nothing too much to say about this one. I love this set. I think it looks super cool. And if I did end up using Assassin's Cal in the future, this is probably going to be the set that I make with just because it looks cool. And we have so many Royal like looks in the game, specifically for armor pieces that the Gilded Momentum is probably going to be your best choice because you can really just mix and match a lot of things. You could be mix matching stuff from Solstice of Heroes, which again, that's what I'm doing here, but Strides of the Great Hunt are specifically uh, stuff from the Great Hunt, which is Last Wish. You can use a lot of those pieces as well. The Nemean stuff you could be using. There's so many pieces that you could be using that Guilt and Memento really could just have so many cool sets with different sets. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Really do appreciate you guys coming up to this point. Uh, we will be having more stuff. Next one is Titans. Titans, you guys have Antaeus Wards. And then Warlocks, we're going to be looking at Secant Filaments. So let me know what you guys think. Be safe, and I'll see you guys later.